Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly and today I'm a little bit off my game. <laughs> I had intended on filming something else because I had to get ready to go do something very somber and I thought I had the perfect products lined up and then I realized I packed them because I have to go on a trip here, a very short trip and I'm like, oh, I'll just take those with me. So I'm not very organized, but, but might as well tell you, I already have some Zoeva foundation on my face. This is in shade Zion Gifted. This to me is pretty much the same bottle as the ABH foundation. Doesn't that look almost identical? I think it's also very similar to the one from Believe Beauty. I also have a, I need a nude lip liner and this is in shade Julia, I believe. This is what's on my lips. And then I also have the, I need a rose um, lipstick in Daphne, I believe, if I looked at it. So that, that's all that I've got on my face so far. I have some stuff I wanna film, but I wanna film them together as part of a group. So I'm just gonna grab a tried and true uh, face palette. This is the Physician's Formula Better Dream and Team palette. That's what it looks like. It has everything I need, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. Anyway, guys, I am sorry. I'm kind of all over the place. I'm gonna use the matte bronzer in here first. Uh, so my husband's getting ready to speak Royal Service, a celebration of life, and it, I'm just all over the place between listening to him practice his speech and getting all red-eyed everything else it's just been it's been a challenging day and i had to find some waterproof mascara i normally don't wear moder waterproof mascara and i'm an empathetic crier it's not going to be it's not going to be a good day and i figured since i haven't been home for a while i might as well film I do tend to pre-film if you guys are new here. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you decide to stick around. Uh, and if you're an existing subscriber, well, you guys already know that I love you and I feel very blessed that you're part of my life. Okay, I'm gonna grab the blush in here. This one's kind of a little bit more of a rose colored. I don't know if my face is gonna be streaky by the time this is done. I just suspect nothing that can be done about it. I have to go, I have to support, I have to honor a really, really good person's life. And I probably need to stop talking about what I'm doing later on. So those are the only two products I used in this. I think I'm just gonna leave well enough alone. Let me scoot you guys in a little bit. I felt like I was getting too much of my junk in the corner background stuff. Uh, so today I'm gonna use this. I randomly stumbled across a couple Morphe palettes in I have to turn this the right way. Stumbled across a couple Morphe palettes when I was in an Ulta. And I was like, I never even saw these released. I never even, if Morphe sent me an email saying, hey, there's a new release, I didn't pay any attention to it. So I picked up this one in the Baba Bloom palette, which is the 18V. This is a 9P Petal Passion. And even though I'm wearing black, might as well try something with this kind of pretty pink petal spring-like. I think this will be okay. It'll be... A somber affair to be sure. So I think I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with this one that says go to. I need to take my finger and polish off too, but it's so not somber. I didn't do any eyelid primer. What I've really been enjoying is Thrive Cosmetics came out with some matte sticks. The lightest, not the lightest, like, but the lightest matte, one of the mattes has been my favorite because I think it's got a, a waterproof property too. And I've been using that to underneath all of my eyeshadows lately. Again, I'm all over the place, you guys. Please, please don't have this be a, an indication of how all my videos are. It's just, it's gonna be a day. So on that note, have you guys been? How's your COVID situation? Are your numbers coming back up? Or are they mellowing out a little bit? I actually do care. I would love to know where you guys are from. And if you guys are just kind of over it, if you're still struggling with it, if the agoraphobia still with you. I think every ten tinge of that. Some people have been successful coming out of it, some not so much. Some have every reason to be nervous and concerned because maybe they're immunocompromised or maybe they are around people that are and I just try to be respectful of everybody. And if they want to wear a mask or not, I'm going to grab this kind of plumbing color right here. Sort of a, a lighter rose called Her. And I still have this brush. It's probably too big, but I'm going to buff it into the first shade here. I'm not an expert blender. I'm not an expert makeup artist as well. I'm not a professional YouTuber. I've got this little tiny micro channel and what I love about my little tiny micro channel is I am playing with makeup. I'm doing something that I enjoy and I'm sharing it with you guys and this is this is just a hobby. I don't know that I'll ever be a, a large enough channel to ever have it be something that's monetized or whatever else and and that's not really what I'm doing it. I'm not doing it as, as a cash grab. I'd be failing miserably if I thought that that was the if that was the goal here. A little bit more of that shade her. I sometimes get this little patchy section and it's not the eyeshadow it's actually eyelid and I'm just trying to contour it and make it not look all the 51 years that it actually is. Okay 
I want to try a different brush. Yeah, I'm going to grab a different brush, a little smaller one. And I'm going to grab Big Apple shade right here, here in the corner. Tip of this brush, starting down. There's another shade in here. I want to kind of go over the top of this to sort of be the base tone for it. So, been traveling. Um, the makeup that I was going to use today, I didn't realize until I sat down that I actually packed it for a very quick work trip, Phoenix area. At some point in time, I'll, I'll get back to the vlog and stuff. I do have a couple videos. I, I, sorry, I just grabbed Love and Lust, the shade right here in the middle darkest shade in the palette. I did grab a couple videos of my travels through the Boston area and got stuff ready to edit. They're just a lot of individual little clips that I have to make sense of in order to put it together into a video that's not, you know, hours long. So I got to do that and that's just going to take, take some time. And fortunately, most of my free time lately has been spent with my husband's band. We just got a YouTube channel launch for that. Well, I say we, uh, but it was really me, but more a uh, big apple. Anyway, that's kept me busy. Plus they've got this ceremony thing that they needed a 45 minute video on. And I worked on that while I was traveling last week. Redundant because <laughs> I already started this video once and then had to go back and do it again. So I don't know if I want to do something more corally or let's, I'm going to swatch these right here because I don't know what this formula is. This almost looks like a Huda formula, doesn't it? Okay, that's very rose gold and pretty. Let's try this one. That one's a little bit warmer and a little bit more of a peach undertone. Corner. So I tr started with Say No More and then I'm Busy and then now I'm going to pay Bouquet. This one pretty bold, isn't it? And then the last one I'm going to try is called Dream It. This one right here. So smooth, creamy. Okay, that's too bold to do. I think I'm going to do the rosé one. So that's the one that's called Say No More. This one right here. Lid right here. Yeah, really beautiful. This is a super pretty spring palette. I'm glad I have this. This is this is a cute one. This is, it's interesting because it has these sort of warmer colors and this, the cooler toned pinks in here. And it makes it a very, very pretty, I'm going to call it a summer palette, spring summer palette, even though it's a petal named, right? It's called Petal Passion. I think it's really pretty, actually. Maybe this uh, will makes a very fun daytime look or potentially a really good date night look if you like these kind of berry tones. That usually kind of cleans up the sparkly bits for me. We're gonna leave that as it is. I need an eyeliner. Actually, I grabbed one here. This is a Natasha Denona. This is one of her tech liners, I think. Yeah, tech eye crayon. And this one is in the shade Burgundy. I figured that would be a good one to try. Not try, I, I know that I like. So I'm, I'm not only am I an empathetic crier, I'm an empathetic crier, so other people feeling strong emotion, feel strong emotion, even if they're not really related to me. I don't know how somebody can sit there with somebody bawling and not bawl themselves. <laughs> that's, so, that's so foreign to me. Yeah, that means I cry at commercials sometimes or stupid things, it is what it is. So I'm an empathetic crier, so I'm gonna be crying, probably for, I can't say no reason, it's gonna be for a reason, but it's it's gonna be very challenging for me to be around all those people feeling grief and then dealing with my own grief. So I'm gonna actually use this Kush for and after. This is a, a waterproof mascara. I've never actually used this before. It says Kush Mascara Hydrofuge. It says that it's high volume waterproof boom. Volume Eleve Hydrofuge Boom. I'm guessing that's supposed to be in two different languages. It just looked close. Let's try this mascara. I don't usually use waterproof mascaras. So I don't use a whole lot of waterproof mascaras because I don't need them to stay on forever. I just need them to stay on long enough. So with my eyebrows. I didn't do those earlier. So this isn't a, a mascara that I've even used, even though I've had it for a little while. Praying that it will work out. It's going to be fine. It'll be fine, I'm sure. It feels like a thicker formula. I think this came in a subscription box. So you guys are going to have to tell me, is this a brand of mascara you guys have used before? I, I didn't intend to try this today. I was literally just looking for a waterproof mascara. So I guess we'll give it the old celebration of life test. So far, so good. It's actually coating these lashes pretty well without horribly clumpy. And this is the first time I've opened the box. So I don't think I, I mean, I know that I haven't tested it before. It shouldn't have uh, been exposed to anything. The wand is pretty fast tapered at the end but I think because the formula is so thick it's kind of it's a little difficult to coat the lashes but when they when you get them coated they actually look really pretty so I'm so trying to keep it off my eyelid but I do have it on my eyelids which is something that I start getting going fast and play with mascara that's what happens. You guys probably already know this, but in case you're new to makeup, if you do get mess on your skin somewhere not intended to be, like not on your lashes, if you let it dry fully, then you can take a firm little brush, like a maybe an eyebrow brush. It should just scrape right off without hurting your skin. And certainly makes it easier than having a black smear that then you have to patch over the top of. Yeah, as I'm looking at myself closer in the mirror right now, my eyes aren't horribly bloodshot right now. They were earlier, they were so red. This next week's gonna be chaotic. 
and I hate to go back too far into older videos, but because I do pre-fill, I've got honestly about two months worth of video stored up that I can reach into if I need to try to fill out a month. So I'm, I'm good with that. I had just hoped today to be able to sit down and film a bunch of videos and I'm just not going to be able to. It's just, it's too hard. Okay, the mascara is actually really pretty. I'm gonna keep this out. This might be one to take if you're traveling and you're gonna be um, in, in a pool or, you know, if you're going to be in an area where you might get wet. Scribble on some eyebrows really fast. I got contacted by a company, I have to follow up with them, that wanted to send me colored contacts to try. Problem is, is that I wear contacts typically anyway. And I thought it might be kind of fun to try some disposable colored contact, uh, but wear them with glasses. So I told them that I did have prescription contacts already, but I'd be willing to try them with glasses. And then uh, I just got super busy and I haven't gotten back to them. And I hate not responding to companies if they do reach out to me. I don't, I don't really get anything in PR. Occasionally I'll have a company that I'll reach out. It's happened a couple times. It's not very often. This is one of those situations where they're like, Hey, if we send these to you, would you be interested in trying them? Opinion. I'm not getting paid to do it. Nothing like that. There's not really any, I don't think any specific rules on, you know, how long it needs to be or whatever else, but I thought that would be fun. It's something I've been interested in. My daughter actually used colored contacts for her Halloween costume and they were beautiful. So, okay. Those, those eyebrows look, look fine. I need some powder. Um, you know what? We're going to do the RCMA powder. I was going to do the Laura Mercier, but I think it's a little too shiny what I want to accomplish today. So, all right. Powder is going on so beautifully. This is honestly one of my favorite face powders of all time. It's not horribly expensive. I can understand why it's a favorite of makeup professionals and stuff like that because it's a ginormous package. I don't know if I'll ever be able to finish it all the way through. I'm trying, I'm so close to panning a couple products, you guys. I'm very excited. I have a hard time committing to, to makeup because I love makeup, most makeup. Not, not all makeup, but I love most makeup. All right, I didn't grab any more blush, but I feel like I've, uh, you know what, it's okay. I thought maybe it would tone down too much, but actually I think it looks better. My contacts are a little fuzzy. My makeup actually looks okay. A uh, little setting spray. Let's do, I'm gonna use the CRT London Everyday Vacay. I'm not horribly aggressive. Okay, that's it. So uh, yeah, the Morphe 9P Petal Passion Palette. It's very pretty. It's very pretty. It's very lovely. If you need something a little bit more on the pinky, uh, pinky peachy kind of combinations. Yeah, I would say this. It's typical Morphe quality. I do actually like the way they've got the shades because you can do something a little bit bolder with this bright color, uh, this bright color. I think you've got some really nice combinations. I tend to be very pretty simplistic with my makeup and usually do something like a matte shimmer. Not unlike what I did today. I think I just used a little bit more, a few more colors. So yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go cry with a bunch of other people and hope this holds up. So I hope you guys are doing really well. I hope you guys consider sticking around because I like to play with makeup. Maybe you do too. And sometimes it helps to see ladies of a certain age who are not a makeup artist actually play with some of the products that might've got our attention and see, you know, will it work for us? That's kind of what we're trying to do here. Kind of what we're trying to accomplish. Sometimes we're more successful than others. And uh, I hope you guys don't take me too seriously. Don't take life too seriously. I hope you're doing really well. I hope to see you guys around again. And until my next video, bye for now.